You know, a lot of times people ask you to pray, and you're like, yeah, I'll be praying for you. Then you forget, or you don't. I take it very seriously when they ask this church to pray. Because they come to you because they believe you will pray. And they believe there is faith behind your prayers. So thank you for that. I was telling some of them this week, this is a testimony. And I just feel like some of y'all who, who haven't heard this need to hear it. The first Sunday morning we ever set up this tent, I believe it was maybe 2018, um, we had a family. And they go to a church in this town, but that church doesn't really preach healing the way that you all believe it. And they had a little child, I think he was about two, he wouldn't talk, couldn't talk, nothing. And they didn't know what was wrong. And they brought him here that morning. I don't know if y'all remember, they brought him up to the altar, we laid hands on him. We prayed for that child. We commanded the devil to loose his tongue. Remember, he had not spoken. And when they left and put him in the car and took off, because they left to go to their own service at 11, when they took off, the little boy looked at them and said, I'm good to go. Now people, babies who just learn to talk, don't say, I'm good to go. They say, mama or dada or something. That baby said, I'm good to go. They freaked out. They sent me the message and they were freaked out. But that child is about six years old now. They sent me a video of him this week just singing an old hymn. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. That child is singing the praises of God. We have seen miracles. And we're going to see more miracles. I praise God for what he's doing. So when, you, when people ask you to bring a prayer request to this church... Please come tell me we're going to pray. We're going to speak the word. 